Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Strife's Talking Points and in this episode I'm going to talk about something that I just saw today. I've seen a couple of articles like this in the past and it is the Ravelry's um, banning of any support for Donald Trump and his administration on their website. Um, Ravelry, since no one knows this, I didn't know this, it's just one of those things where it is a crochet knitting website and they are saying they are banning people based on their political speech or support and very much taking a uh, side uh, from their tweet directly we are banning support of donald trump and and his administration on ravelry we cannot provide a space that is inclusive of all and allow support for open white supremacy more details at reverie.com so the transition and the uh flag i don't know they are equating any support of donald trump and his administration of open support for wild, white supremacy that is their stance that is the stance they're going to stand on that if you are one of the 50 percent of the u.s that supports donald trump you are a white supremacist doesn't matter if you're black white yellow green blue whatever you are uh, and you'll notice on their site they actually have a hashtag black lives matter tag with the rainbow flag attached to it uh, contradictions abound here abound in this um, debate now i clicked on their website i wanted to read this to you um, policy notes you can still participate if you do in fact support the administration you just can't talk about it here we are not endorsing the democrats nor banning republicans they are banning you if you support the active president of the united states and the any member of the administration or any policy therein so you can see this is definitely a politically motivated thing uh they are also giving their uh their corporate pride bow to the lgbtq community which 99 percent of those you see are basically them trying to tap in and make money off this group of people while doing very little to enhance lives uh, we are definitely not banning conservative politics unless they are any conservative politics that exist hate groups and intolerance are different from other types of political positions interesting we are not banning people for past support do not try and weaponize this policy by entrapping people who support the trump administration into voicing their support similarly antagonizing conservative members for their unstated position is not acceptable you can help by flagging any of the following items if they constitute support for trump or his administration flagging unaccepted projects that will be provided to the member or made invisible to others uh, patterns unacceptable patterns that will be turned to drafts forum posts right now only posts written after sunday june 23rd uh please do not profile please do not pro flag profiles yet the if the only banned content is the avatar or avatars there is not yet a flagging system and purpose they actually took this um, from rpg.net which i had to go pull up i remember hearing about this before rpg.net is a uh, gaming site which uh, a lot of these sites have been taken over by political activists so you always have a lot of back and forth uh I remember when this came up, RPG.net said, basically, we are banning support of the administration President Trump. You can still post. If you do, in fact, support, you just can't talk about it here. Um, and they kind of go through the same thing. We're not banning Republicans or supporting Democrats. We're just saying you can't say you support anything related to the president, the administration, or their politics. You can, however, post anything supporting anti-Trump, anti trump anti uh, conservative politics pro democrats you just can't do it here um uh, we assert that hate groups and intolerance are categorically different from other types of political positions you see that basically revelry just copied and pasted 
and it is strange that this online knitting community would do that. However, when you go back, um, it is a very popular thing now for the pink hats, the crocheted pink hats you see everywhere to be out in public. And when you look overall at the knitting community um, from their picture here, you can see that uh, there's a, a good bit of women mixed up in there. Now, it is very strange to me that they would openly go after it. And I was going through this story and there's a lot of stuff here. Um, basically, you're seeing more and more of these smaller s social sites, um, forum sites that are openly deciding to tie anything related to uh, current administration, to racism, to white supremacy, to uh, all the isms that they can think of. And it's a slow process where they're making it so that in any type of speech, in any type of forum, you can support one side but not the other. You can support this group but not that group. And they are um, basically using it as a way, one, to stir up some controversy. And, you know, I'm going to assume that 99% of people have never heard of this site, this group, anything related to it. And now, however, it's a big thing. Um, I went through various sites to look at, you know, um, since I'm more familiar with RPG.net, uh, their traffic, total visits, 1.7 average visits. I was looking at that, and then I actually have heard of Exclusively Gaming, which is a much newer site who's starting to gain on them. Um, what RPG.net and what uh, Revelry are doing is they are banning uh, a portion of political speech, a portion of supporters, and they are saying we are politically on the left. We will follow rules and dogma set out by the left and we will openly attack anyone on the right and not allow any pushback on our site we we're going to draw a line in the sand and say we can attack this group however those people cannot push back against us and that's what you've seen on a lot of these what i was always thinking when i see this is why not just ban politics from your site in general I do know that from what I know of exclusively gaming, from watching the videos and from being into some of the forums and just kind of reading through, is they're basically saying no politics, none whatsoever. Keep it out of our, um, keep it off our sites. We don't want it. Whereas these other two sites, Ravelry, RPG.net, they're saying no, it's this one side. It is purely this group of people, these Trump supporters of Trump administration, roughly 50% of the U.S. that are kind of in this uh, idea that they are going after it. And they even have policy citations when they go through these different things. And I clicked on some of these and looked them up, uh, what they were using as their support. And these are definitely people on the far left who are just attacking. They use fake quotes. They keep tying... Uh, a man with a Jewish daughter and grandchildren to the Nazi party, to these extreme white supremacist acts when, you know, 15 years ago, the policies he's pushing today are the mainline Democratic Democrat Party stuff's uh, ideas. And this is very much where now they, the idea of globalists is code for Jews. Uh, and then they go through all these articles where they link into this cycle we're seeing all across the US where uh, one story cites another story cites another story cites another story and as you dig through there's no context uh, and there's no originating fact it's just someone in Twitter in the Twitterverse made up a tweet they created a fake story that had no supporting arguments someone quotes that story again no supporting arguments in the next story and they quote the next story and the next story and the next story to the point where the idea that uh, someone supporting the current administration must be a white supremacist must be a racist doesn't matter what color they are doesn't matter any facts or supportive evidence they just move forward with this now i went through and found this story um just to kind of show this, this is from March 12th, uh, why Trump's MAGA hats have become a potential symbol of racism. Again, this has been growing and growing since the first of the year. 
Uh, it matters that they wore Making America Great Again hats. This is from the viral video. Um, uh, I'm talking about the kids, those high school kids in the video that went viral over the weekend. The one that showed the young men laughing and jeering while an older American Indian man drummed and sang. It seemed at first to be an obvious case of white bros acting shamefully. shamefully. But then the but then another longer video showed the same encounter with more contacts and new characters. A racist fringe group of black men who identified themselves as the Hebrew, black Hebrew Israelites who seemed to have been the main provokers of tension and aggression. This is referring back to the idea that the Covington Catholic kids and how they were painted as such a hateful group that claim didn't stand and yet you still see these stories um and we're here to go on to a little bit more from this article on cnn but that's a pointless debate based on independent reporting those students sh should share in the blame despite their denial stating they were innocent bystanders because the media needs to make this current administration this current group, racist, white supremacist, all these ists, because that need is there, they cannot let go. It's continued to be further than the more left you are and the more left, hand, left media you see, the more this idea is beat into your head. These small bands where it's going to be, these sites are becoming more and more political. Politics is going to come wrapped up in your everyday life. And I found this uh, article here from uh, Medium Politics. This is still up, still going. The MAGA hat Rorschach test. Let's not pretend symbols don't have meaning and power. This is from February 5th, much earlier in the year. Um, <clears throat> here we go. As the ultimate symbol of Trumpism, why would anyone wear that hat unless they support the political beliefs, politi policies, and beliefs of that Trump is best known for? Uh, this they're going over people wearing the hat. Now, here we go. Here's a brief snippet. Here, instead, there's a strong case to be made that MAGA hat has become strongly that has become strongly tied as a symbol of Donald Trump and Trumpism. And as the ultimate symbol of Trumpism, why would anyone wear that hat unless they support the policies and beliefs Trump is best known for? And don't his best known policies include constant calls for a border wall to save us from a non-existent migrant crisis? This is from four months ago. This is the period of time when we were seeing explosive numbers coming out of Mexico into the U.S., just this ramp up and ramp up of hundreds of thousands of people crossing the border. But on the left leaning media, the mainstream media sites, they weren't talking about it. They wouldn't explain it. They wouldn't go over it. They would just say, no, it's not a thing. Now we have Washington Post, New York Times, all these different outlets who are saying, yes, it's a crisis. Yes, it's a serious issue. Yes, it's a problem. And then what you're getting from the same sites is calls to support trump to build these build fund these policies not necessarily build the wall but to stop the crisis the separation of children from their parents at the u.s mexico border uh, the stories have been coming out that a lot of these different places are allowing you to rent children to cross the border uh, i believe just today i was reading something about uh, children being a uh, mother and some children being found dead in the desert probably related to uh, illegal immigration could be homicide don't really know um a muslim ban this is where they uh bring up the idea that the u.s was going to stop uh, failed nation states from people from being able to immigrate to the u.s or travel to u.s from failed nation states where they couldn't be vetted uh, this is very similar to the bans placed on uh travel under Obama and under multiple different administrations where under Trump it must be considered racist it must be considered all the ists in the world however just in a few months when you go back and look at these stories you can see that 
most of the information they're giving you is false and it's just opinions and those things fall apart. Um, removing transgender from the military and so on. They're pushing a very specific line of questioning at you. In fact, Trump spends most of his days arguing that we're in the midst of an immigration crisis, which lo and behold, 60 day or 90 days after this, we are clearly in the midst of them. To buttress his argument, he relies on a constant stream of misinformation about undocumented immigrants entering the country, suggesting the problem is getting worse, growing worse, when illegal immigration has been falling for years. That's incorrect. Illegal immigration in the last year or so has been spiking. It's increasing exponentially and we're now seeing a complete failure of all the systems in the u.s to do that trump is not vilifying undocumented immigrants even though they say he is what we have now is the switch in the media um, to undocumented or illegal aliens being called um, economic migrants to being called uh we're being told by AOC and members of the Democratic leadership that they are going being placed in concentration camps. And I just see this revelry site banning one half of the argument. They're not banning the entire argument. They're only banning one side. Uh, RPG.net banned one side. Most of your left-leaning media sources are only focused on one side, and they get upset with you if you are not negative towards what's going on. Uh, here very recently, uh, one of the main stories is come out that it's very possible that Ilan Omar, the congresswoman, was married to her brother to bring him into the country much faster while she was actually married to her husband. Um, that was a story that got a conservative journalist banned from Twitter and other sites because she reported on it initially. Fast forward a year, now the story's hit mainstream. Now the story is coming out that this is actually what happened. And it's just nothing strange to me. It doesn't seem as strange as it did a few years ago that this ramp up of one-sided argument where if you disagree with us, you're banned from our site. We can freely have conversations attacking you but if you do any support, anything that's outside of what we want you to say, you are removed from our site, you will be squashed, you will be ignored. Now, I'm not saying that private sites can't do that, but I believe that sites like this should openly remove any and all political speech. Uh, it's to the point now in the U.S. that we need to remove politics from our daily lives. You need to get it out of your life. You don't need to sit around and think about it. If uh, you see here that one site is growing extremely quickly compared to another site, which is always trending, or basically it's always the same, about 1.7 million users, they allow political speech on one side, not on the other, and... If you want to play games, if you want to crochet, if you want to do random hobbies, find the places that don't allow any political speech, not just the ones that only allow one side. Find them, learn to use them, and remember that if you go back in time a few months, you can see that most of your uh, left-leaning sites are caught off guard because they are proven wrong over time. That's just my take. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, do you think that all your hobbies should be embroiled in political turmoil? Do you believe that you should only ban one half of any conversation? Do you believe that you should ban the entire conversation? Which is what I think. If you have a knitting site, ban all political speech. If you have a gaming site, ban it all. You get start talking politics and trying to rile people up, remove them. Or should you just literally go after one group of people, take out half the population? That way you can clearly state that you are on one side or the other of the political debate. Thank you all for listening and have a great day.